All right, good day, welcome, Aries. This is gonna be your reading, all right? Let's see what we have in store for the Aries Collective, all right? Let's do a couple of shuffles here. All right, got a glimpse of the communication card, all right? So maybe you're having issues when it comes to communication, all right? Communication issues. So we do have adjustments. Yeah, see, there it is, the communication card. All right, so you need to adjust the way that you communicate. All right, so you need to be bold make a, and make the first move here with the cardinal moon. All right, if you're not sure, take some time out and breathe and meditate. All right, it's like that hermit energy. All right, so if you're wondering why do you need to make adjustments when it comes to the way I communicate, well, if you can't see it, there's a problem. All right. If you can't see it without having to meditate and contemplate, there's an even bigger problem here. All right. So let's get for the communication is key here. The adjustments needing to be um, adjustments are required, which means spirit ain't playing around. The universe isn't playing around. All right. So we do have look at this. What these cards dropped out and this is the card I saw. So. I feel like it has to do with gossip. Oops. I need to put them this way here. All right. So with the three of cups here, all right, there's a reason why them cards slip out. All right. So the three of cups could be, you know, maybe you're doing too much gossiping. All right. Maybe you're one of them people in a community. You and like two to Two to three other people. This could be you and two other people or, you know, but I'm getting you and two other people for sure. All right. That sit around and just are like the community gossipers. All right. So you might even like be on community pages, um, like on social media, um, just getting the gossip, needing to know every little detail. It's like going to be like them old ladies that just sit around and gossip and talk shit where they call them old biddies with saggy titties. <laughs> I don't know why that came out, but it did. Yeah. All right. Wow. So we do have the karma here. So that's why it's saying these adjustments are required. Maybe you sit around and gossip with family here. All right. That could be some of it here. But yeah, I feel like you don't see nothing wrong with what you're doing. But clarity is going to come in and tell you what it is that you need to abandon that you've kind of been clinging on to. All right, with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be a motherly figure. It doesn't have to be. All right. Um, yeah, we have Persephone. We have here the Page of Swords at the top. So maybe you stalk and gossip because it only makes sense. All right. It's like I had to kind of back away from some people in my life, even family members, because it's like I don't want to sit around and talk about other people's lives. All right. I want to do something with my life. I want to become something extraordinary all right i want to try to conquer the best parts of myself and i can't do that when i sit when i'm around people that sit around and gossip all right so i feel like yeah you just you watch every little detail all right from community um pages to what's going on in the community talking about people's lives stuff like that just very low vibe shit all right, so here with the Karma card, it's saying that these adjustments are required of you. All right, it could be a karmic lesson here. All right, you could be gossiping with karmics, and that's why it feels like so comfortable for you. All right. I mean, it could be like <clears throat> three generations here that are like this. Um, because on each card, and then we have another three. All right, so yeah, I'm getting like three generations. And counting. Yeah, your impulsiveness. All right, but you need to take action now. All right, you need to look out, and you need to really um, meditate and contemplate. All right. But it's like, I feel like you have a very impulsive nature here when it comes to the way that you communicate. It's like, you don't think before you speak. You don't think before you act. All right. So there could be some karma coming in to level the playing field here. All right. Because this is, we have here the queen of wands here. 
Yeah, it has to do with communication. It has to do with the way that you're communicating. All right, you need to speak with goodness, kindness. All right, and I'm also getting, you need to put your, you need to flip it around, like put yourself in other people's shoes. You wouldn't like it if people were gossiping because gossip is usually just a bunch of bullshit lies. It's like, it's just a bunch of, it's, one, it's a story that's had, got so many different add-ons. Like people add their own shit, their opinion and turn it into fact when it's really not fact. It's just opinion. All right. So you can't believe a lot of gossip. Like, you know, when you hear, when somebody says, hey, did you hear? And I'm like, I'm really, no, I didn't hear. And there's a reason why I didn't hear it because it's probably irrelevant and it's probably just opinion. All right. With a little bit of fact, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, you, it's the way you communicate. You need to look ahead and see where is this getting you? Where is it going to get you in your next life? All right. We have the, you know, it's like, yeah. All right, let's get a little bit more before I wrap this up here. Yeah, it's like your, your impulsive nature and that foolishness is really kind of affecting you. We have here the Ace of Swords, all right? So we have the hell you need to be practical all right but we have here the death card it's saying put an end to this all right all endings have new beginnings and usually a good beginning all right but it's like you need to get some type of understanding on what's going on here with the ace of swords and the death card all right clarity insight doing that actual introspection because a lot of people claim that they get all this help but you see it and you see their actions and it's like okay well where i don't see anything i see the same behavior all right so it's time to like have a breakthrough all right get your get your thoughts adjusted somewhere else all right because it's it's set on gossip it's set on stalking lurking you know, keeping an eye on things and people that you don't have no business doing. It's, you know, you can't, invading other people's energy space. What do we got here? So I feel like you're kind of stuck in the past here with the Six of Cups. Persephone, why must you sit right in front of that? Yeah, see, there's another freaking three here. You see that? The Three of Pentacles. You're stuck in the past, or it could be siblings or something here with the six of cups here but yeah i feel like there's a lot of past issues here that aren't even like in the present okay so we have the five of swords we have the eight of cups so yeah you need to walk away from this all right you could be dealing with the narcissist so you could be getting very manipulated by a narcissist here narcissists rewrite history or you're rewriting history and you need to walk away and leave it behind all right like I said, you need to put yourself in other people's shoes, the ones you're gossiping about. There's the death card again. Yep, you need to put an end to it. All right, but you're just kind of clinging on here. It's like you're possessive over other people, like you think other people. Yeah, we have here the eight of swords with the four of swords. It's like you, you need to see a shrink in the therapist. And in order for that to actually work, you have to be open and honest. All right. Um, but you're blocked off from that. So it's kind of pointless because once again, we have the nine of swords here. All right. It's like the wheel isn't turning in your favor. All right. It's like I said, let the tables turn. Put yourself in other people's shoes here with the wheel of fortune. All right. But I feel like the tables have turned and that's why you're feeling stressed and worried and afraid and you're just all in your thoughts. It's like you're kind of like these Librans that come to my channel. Maybe you're the same one and you have like an Aries something placement. Maybe like in your moon or rising. But it's like you're just always in your thoughts. Hey, pretty. Hey, gorgeous. And it's like you're just stuck on playing the defense and I'm the victim. When in reality, no, your communication is the problem. You're not the victim. 
all right it's like you need to carry on and you need to move out of this abandon it leave it behind because you're going to continue to face poverty you're going to continue to face downfalls i mean nothing good ever comes out of this but there are people that like to be the boohoo person in the world where it's boohoo they like it because it gives them low vibe sad attention and feel sorry for me attention and yeah it's very childish so meditate and contemplate that's when the conclusions will be within reach take a time out breathe all right what do you need to release the way you communicate balance spirituality and practicality it's that night of pentacles here all right so i'm just gonna leave that there there's a reason why i don't do y'all very often because it's always the same shit pile all right so bye